Namaste and welcome back to Live Stronger. As you can see, I am at a new gym. I found myself another gym, and today we are going to work on our legs. So let's straight away start with our dynamic stretching. For the first stretch, I am doing my greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side. I'm, by now, I am pretty sure most of you have already figured out how to do this stretch. We'll be doing it every day to make sure we get the perfect start for our every, uh, workouts so five repetitions each side left and right we push our leg back as far as possible go down and rotate as simple so since it's a leg uh, leg day we'll also be doing couple more stretches which we have which we have been doing previously also nothing new to this uh, to our routine so Let's finish off the final reps for our greatest stretch. As you can see, when I turn, I try to get my body as straight as possible. Both my arms, uh, by which I mean. Make sure you are well balanced when you are doing the stretch. So let's move on to our second dynamic stretch, which for which I'm using the I have the gym has kettlebell, so I'm using a small kettlebell to add weight to my stretch. This is a hip opener. Again, we have done this previously, nothing new. You knee down on one leg, you open one leg, and the leg which is open on, on its feet, you push your knees towards that side, causing an uh inner thigh stretch we will do five repetitions on each side you can do this without a weight if without a weight you feel it's very easy is then uh, it is then you progress into adding weights you don't need a kettlebell you can do this by holding a dumbbell also i have done this in my previous videos now we switch on to the other side the thing we have to make sure here is that our uh, hips remain straight i mean they are facing forward our hips don't rot get rotated and we push our knee way uh, beyond our toes that causes a stretch in our calf in our inner thigh for any reason if there is restriction in your calf muscle your heel starts lifting off so you can that means you can uh, you need to massage your calves a little bit to release some tightness that's it we are done with the hip opener now i'm using the kettlebell again uh, to do a deep squat stretch it also gives you a little bit of balance so you can use a weight dumbbell or a kettlebell or even a weight plate anything which is available at your disposal so slowly i'm going to a deep squat and hold there for a few seconds and now I shift my weight from one leg to the other. Again, stretching my calf muscles, causing my glutes to stretch, causing my my quads are already uh, completely stretched. My hamstrings are contracted right now, so they're not stretching, they're contracted, but my glutes have opened up, my hips are at a stretch. Again, a very good opener for our hips before we move on to our leg workouts. And that's it for our dynamic stretching. Now let's go begin our warm-up exercises. For our warm-up exercises, I'm going to do the primary exercise. That's the uh, RDLs. So just minimal weight, nothing extraordinary. We start with a small weight. I have loaded up five kilo plates on each side. The focus here has to be on going down slow and feeling the stretch in the hamstrings. Remember the cue. I have done this warm up for two sets. So uh, remember the cue. The cue is always not to lean forward, but to push your glutes far behind as if you are trying to uh, touch a wall which is behind you. Or imagine you are trying to close a car door with your using your glutes. So like you just pump the door. So this time in the exercise we do it slow 
and always and always make sure the bar stays in contact with your legs how do you make sure of it by pushing your arms into your body uh, your arms can't go beyond your midline because the bar stops it so the bar always stays in contact and your back remains tight so the load doesn't shift onto your lower back and the load always uh, remains on your hamstrings and your glutes it might travel up a little bit once your glutes get fatigue but it is not any kind of injury causing load shift so i have done 12 to 15 reps for both my warm up sets and then we now move on once we are done with this we are, we move on to our working sets wherein i have loaded the bar a bit heavier now you can choose to stick to the same weight or you can choose to you know again increase the weight it's uh, really up to you at what level you are but make sure the weight is challenging i am using again my wrist straps so that my grip doesn't compromise the number of repetitions i get because i am trying to challenge myself with the weight while lifting the bar off if you are doing this on a i am doing this on a deadlift platform if you are doing it on a rack uh, you can do uh, if you are doing it on the floor you can do it like i did just now if it's on a rack you don't need to lift it off the floor simple set there we are this is the first set so again the entire focus has to be on get, feeling that hamstring stretch you might feel the stretch traveling into your glutes or traveling into your calves and once you come up you will you might also feel a tight contraction in your lower back a good contraction tightness but that's because you are hinging into the movement again if you can as you can see i am keeping the bar in contact with my legs every time the bar comes up my shorts also get dragged up and that's a good sign that's what you want to do that will keep your uh, upper back absolutely straight and tight and make sure the load doesn't shift onto your lower back so we now move on to our second set again uh, in between sets the amount of break you want to take uh, is dependent upon the load which you are using the number of repetitions you are getting here i was taking one minute break in between my sets using of straps and gloves is absolutely uh, as per you as per your uh, convenience if you have use them definitely it's quite helpful i think the first set i i i wasn't able to get 12 repetitions but the amount of contraction i got was quite good again to mention as you can see as i pull the bar up my shorts get dragged up that that's that's a sign of make i'm that i'm keeping the bar always in contact with because the camera angle is i'm trying to show the how i'm pushing my glutes behind you can also see how my legs in between shiver a little bit because they were already getting tired but nothing to worry about a little bit of shiver a little bit of misfire uh, misfire due to fatigue nothing severe so i continue doing i take a 90 second break just to uh, get back in the groove and go for my third set i want you to really focus on my hinging movement because that's all about in this exercise there's nothing else the weight is uh, the weight is it it just needs to be a challenging weight it's all about how you hinge as the weight goes down if you want to lift it off the floor like uh, or if you have to lift it off the floor make sure you lift it like you're lifting a deadlift so that if the weight is heavy it doesn't uh, cause any kind of lower back uh load shifting a few more reps my legs my hamstrings were completely tired by now there was absolutely nothing left so i i got a good amount of stretch and contractions 
in the first exercise itself for my hamstrings so successful I have taken a two minute break and for my luck this particular gym which I'm uh, now going to work out every day has an abductor and an ad adductor exercise machine we have done this exercises previously using resistance bands I have shown that how to do it in my uh, previous video so if you don't have this machine you can do it in uh, using the resistance bands if you don't have them I have also shown how to do it without the resistance bands but I would uh, really recommend that you get resistance bands because if you don't have this machine they are quite helpful so what I have done is I have done uh, two sets of adductor work and two sets of abductor works uh, work so adductors are the ones which bring your legs towards the midline of the body right now I'm doing abductors which are taking my legs away from the midline of the body so my glutes my glute medius and my glute minimus are working really hard right now to open my legs up and now I'm doing my adductor work wherein my inner thighs are working really hard against the resistance of the machine to bring my legs in line with the midline of my body so the best thing about uh, this particular machine or the equipment is that you can superset it yes you will be very tired it, it it is very challenging you don't have to load it extremely heavy but it's convenient it's time saving and getting the work done I would be doing a lot more of adductor and abductor work because that's something which I have previously in my uh, experience haven't work, uh, worked much on but now that I have this machine at my disposal I'll be working a lot more on my abductors and adductors especially my abductors because adductors still commonly we have strong ones abductors are glute medius and minimus are the ones which grow a bit weaker due to our sedentary life or other reasons so right now I'm working again on my abductors my glute medius and minimus are working really hard in terms of pulling my leg away from the midline of my body against the resistance again I have done this work on with using resistance bands so you can do using resistance bands also for my next exercise after a one minute break I move on to leg extensions so we have done this previously the cue is to uh, make sure your body remains in absolute contact with the backrest and the seat and you kick the weight up feel the contractions on your quad and feel the stretch as the uh, knees go completely down so I've done three sets of this exercise uh, first two sets was okay weight and the third set I have gone into a little bit of my body weight range so each set I have taken just a minutes break just sat on the bench nothing much and then continued to on to my second and third set so that's it for our third exercise we now move on to a little bit of calf work for calf work I'm using the leg press machine which is there I, I like the angle at which this leg press machine was uh, set up so as you can see I have taken a good challenging weight considering that uh, I'm not doing it standing or in a donkey uh, position I have loaded the leg press machine to near to my body weight or almost my body weight as my entire upper body is well rested so my calves are pushing the equal amount of weight done two sets of it got 12 to I think 10 to 12 repetitions in both of my sets the break in between was 30 seconds 
I think you can very clearly see the amount of contraction I was able to get in my calf muscle. The uh, heel down range is a little bit uh, not to my liking but the contractions were good so I continued. If you don't have this particular equipment you can definitely do the exercise standing, seated, donkey, the variations which I have previously done in all of my videos. And that's it. We are done with all our leg exercises. To finish off with, we are going to do the dead hangs. And I was so happy to get a rack, which is not as tall as me, with my arms stretched out. So I can hang without bending my knees, keeping my body absolutely straight. I think I'm very close to getting to the 100 second mark, uh, mark because I keep dropping off at 50-60 seconds only because of the pain in my calluses but I think my forearms are getting really strong so let's see how we progress in the few coming days workouts as we do it again and again. Let's finish off today's workout with some static stretches. We do the quad and hamstring stretches, done it previously. Stand straight, take one leg in your arm and pull it. Make sure it is in line with the other leg which is on the ground. Again, thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope the workout was as effective as for, uh, for you guys as it was for me. If you really liked the video, I would really appreciate if you like it press the like button if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe i'm going to continue putting out my uh, journey of this transformation and i very confident that it it'll, it is quite helpful to many who are just starting off or coming from a break like me and please do comment if you have any kind of feedback if you want me to add an exercise if you want me to show how to do a particular exercise which you want to incorporate along uh, in your routine but otherwise i'm really grateful for you guys uh, joining me on regular basis and working out along with me i'm just finishing off my well make sure these stretches which uh, we are doing you hold each stretch for 15 to 20 seconds at least to get the maximum amount of stretch we are done with our quad stretches. Now we are finishing off with our hamstring stretches. Again, the usual, place leg at a height, push your glutes uh, as far behind as possible, causing a stretch in your hamstring and in your calves. You can exaggerate the stretch by leaning a bit forward, by pulling your toes towards your shin. A simple stretch, nothing complicated absolutely easy one and the last leg for the day thank you again thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow with the shoulder workout right yes with the shoulder workout thank you you have a very good day